Hey guys, how's it going? It's Eve, and today we're going to be talking about the new ghost sites that are coming out with EVE Online uh, Rubicon. So I'm sitting in the uh, Astro. This is the new Sisters of EVE ship. I'll be doing a more in-depth video about this ship in probably coming out uh, on tomorrow, which would be Remembrance Day. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and undock in this ship. Uh, once we're in warp and all that, I will be talking more about my fitting in the ship. Uh, but honestly, I have to tell you, this is a pretty terrible fit. But uh, so we're going to be talking about the ghost sites. So ghost sites, they're currently they're an anomaly. So here they are. They're considered a combat site. Now uh, there's a superior, there's lesser, there's standard, and then there is also improved. So we are going to go ahead and do the Superior Serpentis Covert Research Facility. So we're going to go ahead and just right click and warp to it. So with my fit, I got a core probe launcher in the high slot along with a covert ops cloak, three small uh, Trimark ammo pumps as this gets bonuses to armor, uh, micro warp drive, cargo scanner, uh, data and relic analyzers for the sites and then my tank so we warped here a bit quicker than I expected so this is the site four cans uh, so you only get about four minutes to do them so we're just gonna not waste any time we're just gonna start scanning the containers so metal scraps uh, currently what I know the loot's a bit funky uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be this way or not but uh, if there's a can that's empty, for example, like right now, this can will be empty, so don't waste your time in hacking it. This one is also empty, this last one shouldn't be empty. So, sometimes you'll get really good ones and this one is empty, so this site would be considered junk, even though it is a superior. So we're gonna go and warp over to another superior, which is Blood Raider. So really, if I were to come across a site like this, I would just do what I'm doing right now, and I would warp away. So landing in the site right now, uh, our site, the time limit respawns, or kind of resets itself. So we're just going to lock them up, oh my gosh, lock them up again, and just scan them. So, metal scraps not interested so I'm not interested in metal scraps maybe if you really need them go ahead and scan it but I'm only here to actually look for the blueprints for implants and the mobile depot so you get the mobile tech oh, isogen you get the metal level 2 and 3 maybe the metal level 1 blueprint depot blueprint copies here oh there is I believe this is the yeah this is the metal of level 3, I believe. So we're just going to go ahead, warp over, well, activate our micro warp drive. So this is the only can we're going to be hacking in this site, because the other sites, other cans, they're just completely useless. However, I can tell you right now, I'm probably not going to survive. So we're going to go ahead, hack this site. And there it is, so... We got the we got the hack, so we're just gonna open it like we would with a normal container, right here. Open, and we get our loot out of the can. So now, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm actually gonna warp out with this. I'm not gonna I'm gonna warp out. Uh, I'll explain to you guys why later once I take out a battleship and actually do these sites. All right. So what I did was I actually went out and got my uh, apocalypse here. Uh, so, what you guys are going to be seeing is something that, the whole point of why I say you shouldn't use a frigate in this site, yet you could possibly get away with this in a frigate if you can warp in, hack the can, warp out really fast. But if you're a slow hacker like I am, uh, you'd have to, and since you only have that time limit, you'll have to be able to actually tank the cans. Alright, so like with the other site, here are the four cans. So, I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, I'm just going to lock up this one right here. 
and we're just going to purposefully fail hack this can just for curiosity we're gonna check what's inside but I'm gonna fail purposely in order oh it's an empty can so anyway we're gonna purposefully fail to show you what will happen so well before I actually show you I'll explain uh, when you in normal relic and data sites you get about two tries to hack the can before it explodes here you only get one shot in order to hack the can in a way I kind of agree with that in a way I kind of don't so here's this so we're just gonna f quickly fail hack so there's the fail hack and as you can see the secure mainframe did 4500 damage to me put me pretty deep into my shield if you were in a frigate that would probably kill you so next thing we're gonna do is actually just sit around in the site and wait for the pirates or NPCs to spawn so depending on the site the not as many spawn so for this site we'll get uh, I'm not sure of the actual spawn but I know there's quite a few uh, you can go and try shoot them but it's honestly not recommended as after the site despawns a couple seconds after all the cans are gone the NPCs despawn also so you'll just get away no matter what so there's really no point of actually trying to shoot them in order to get away so we are gonna go ahead and wait oh. alright so here are the NPCs so we're just gonna turn on our tank so these are all cruisers and uh, so oh they aggressed me so I'm already warp scrambled and they're ready hitting me hitting about 400 some of them are hitting 300 so my shields going down really quickly so now I'm in armor as you can see I'm warp scrambled now the web came in so the 2000 the cans exploded it also damaged me so now the site is completely despawned other than the rats and I'm currently stuck so I can't actually warp out. So, oh, and there we go. The rats currently despawned, web is all off and now I am free to just simply click the station and warp out. So that is the reason why I recommend doing this at a battleship. Uh, if you can get away before, if you can get in, hack the can, warp out before the rats will come get you well then you'll be pretty much safe to go in a frigate, cruiser or anything as long as it's fast and you're able to get out so that is it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed the first look at the ghost sites in EVE Online Rubicon uh, so far the loot is still currently a work in progress but they should become much better and shouldn't increase in difficulty I still kind of find them pretty hard to do even in Apocalypse so that is it for this video, guys. Fly Dangerous. Peace.